Hey guys, Mr. T here, another video. This one's on measuring the centre of data sets. <clears throat> so hopefully a lot of this is revision. If not, well, it's being taught again. Um, there's three statistics we use to measure the centre of a data set. They are the mean, median, and mode. Some of your online texts or more proper books will talk uh, to you about um, measures of central tendency. Uh, means the same thing, measure of centre. So to start off, we will start with the simplest one. The mode is simply... Um, the most frequently occurring data value. Um, if it's continuous numerical data, it's going to be the class interval that's most frequently occurring. Um, the next one, the next one easiest to calculate is the mean. It's often known as the average, um, symbolized with x with a bar on top of it for the mean of the sample, and this mu symbol for the population mean. You won't have to deal with that so much um, here because uh, most of the time you'll never know what the population is. Um, uh, the mean is also calculated with this particular formula here, so hopefully this is revision. The mean is going to be add all of the data values together and divide by how many there were. That's going to give you the mean. Uh, lastly, the third one is the median. Uh, the median is the middle value of an ordered set of data, an ordered meaning they're in numerical order, so increasing from left to right. Um, the, the median is one of the values and it's the one in the middle, okay? So the, the formula that you're going to be using doesn't actually tell you the median straight up, it tells you the position of it. And why do we need to use a formula for the median? Because for large data sets, let's say you had 100 bits of data, it's going to take you a long time, it's going to be a waste of time to manually count and find where the middle of the data is. To count, say, 100 bits of data and to um, find the middle which is between the 50th and the 50... Um, between the 49th and the 50th um, bit of data, it's just going to take you forever, okay? So, um, sorry, the 50th and the 51st, it would be between those. Um, so you would use a formula, and this formula tells you the position of the median in an ordered data set. So the formula is, position of the median value in an ordered data set is n plus 1 divided by 2. And what that's referring to is the position, so that's what this f this th is there for because it might give you the 23rd or the uh, 24th, so the th is um, in reference to the position and how we name them, okay? And n is the number of data values, so once you know the number of data values you're talking about and you want to find the median, you go n, add 1 to it, divide by 2, and that's going to tell you the position of the median in that data set if that data set is in order. Um, now, just be careful. If you're using this formula for an even number of data values in your data set, the formula is going to make a number that's halfway between two positions. It's not going to be a solid straight straight up number, it's going to be something 0.5. Um, in that case, the median is going to be the average of the data values that that number you got is between. So, for example, there, because that's pretty complicated, for example, if you use the formula and you got 4.5, um, that means the median is going to be between the fourth data value and the fifth data value because 4.5 is exactly in between 4 and 5. And so the median is going to be the average of those two values in those two positions. So it's going to be the average of the fourth and fifth data values, whatever they were. Okay, so now let's go through some examples. Well, one example. Uh, this is a data set and I want to find the mean, median and mode of the data set. Uh, so... Even though I've said the order of mean, median, and mode, um, it's always going to be quickest to um, to order the data first so that you can find the median easy. So I'm going to get this data and reorder it in numerical order. So there's a 1, there's another 1, 1, 1, is there a 2? No, there is 1, 2, 3, there's 4 threes. There's one, two, three, three fours. Two, three. There's one, two, two fives. There's one, two sixes. One, two sevens. One, two, three, 
eight. One, two, three nines. All right, so the initial purpose of finding uh, the data in the order, in numerical order, is to find the median. But, conveniently, this makes it very easy to see what the mode is. The mode, not the made. Mode is the most common data value. Three occurs most often. Three occurs four times. So, three is the mode. Occurs four times. That's the mode. No calculation required. <clears throat> uh, we can find the mean. And that would be all of those numbers added together. So, 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, etc. I'm not going to write that all out. I'll just put my calculator divided by how many numbers there were. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it's going to be all those numbers added together divided by 21. So I'll quickly do that on the calculator. 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 four and four and four, five and five, six and six, seven and seven, eight and eight and eight, nine and nine and nine. That comes to 113 divided by 21. So the mean is 5.38 to two decimal places. Median. So the median doesn't tell you the actual, the, the median straight away. The formula tells you the position of it in ordered data set. Um, so that's why you need to order it to start off with. It just makes your life easier. It's going to be n plus 1 over 2 is going to be um, 21 plus 1 over 2. It's going to be 22 over 2. It's going to be 11th, oh, 11th data value. So in your median count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Therefore, median equals 5. And the other thing you'll notice is that if you've selected the median properly, there should be an even number of numbers on either side of the median. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's another way of finding the median. If you have a pretty small data set, you can just find um, the middle and so where it's even on either side, but obviously for a large data set, you're better off using the formula to find the position of the median. Okay, so hopefully that helps you out in finding the uh, measures of center manually, and I will see you in the next video.